Published in 2006, The White Giraffe is the inaugural installment in the Legend of the Animal Healer series, crafted by Lauren St. John. The narrative revolves around Martine Allen, an orphan who relocates to Cape Town, South Africa, to reside with her grandmother following the tragic demise of her parents. Martine's grandmother resides in the wildlife sanctuary named Sabobona. As Martine grapples with the loss of her family and adjusts to life on a different continent, she discovers the significance of forming friendships in unexpected places and realizes her capacity to transform not only her own life, but also the lives of others for the better. Lauren St. John, the author, is also known for creating the One Dollar Horse series, the Wolf Lamb Mystery series, and the Laura Marlin Mysteries. Before transitioning into an author, St. John pursued a career as a sports and music journalist. The inspiration for the white giraffe struck her one day while strolling down the street, envisioning a girl riding a giraffe. This marked the inception of both the white giraffe and St. John's journey as a novelist. St. John's upbringing on the game reserve Rainbow's End in Rhodesia, now Zimbabwe, played a pivotal role in shaping her perspective, surrounded by a variety of domesticated and exotic animals, including a pet giraffe. These early encounters with the natural world deeply influenced her writing. On the eve of Martine Yancey's 11th birthday, she envisions herself mending a wounded goose with the extraordinary warmth emanating from her hands. As she rouses from this dream, the stark reality hits her, her residence is ablaze, trapping her in her room. Employing a bedsheet as a makeshift escape route through the window, Martine witnesses her home succumb to flames before her parents can flee. Amidst days shrouded in grief, Martine discovers that her sole living relative, her unknown grandmother, Gwen Thomas, will be her caretaker. Gwen resides in Sabobona, a game preserve in Cape Town, South Africa. Although discontented with her English boarding school, Martine harbors reservations about relocating to South Africa, fueled by a letter from her grandmother expressing uncertainty about assuming guardianship. This leaves Martine questioning her grandmother's enthusiasm. With no alternatives, Martine embarks on a journey to South Africa, greeted at the airport by Tendai, a preserve worker, who, against his advice, makes a detour to his Aunt Grace's home. Grace, a traditional healer, imparts wisdom to Martine, recognizing her unique gift, but cautioning that it comes with challenges. Tendai warns Martine not to disclose this visit to her grandmother, yet Gwyn intuits their whereabouts upon their late return, cautioning against visits to the eccentric Grace. Gwen, a stern figure, promptly outlines house rules to Martine, emphasizing her prohibition from the game preserve. Martine learns that her grandfather, once the game warden, tragically perished in a clash with giraffe hunting poachers, a topic shrouded in secrecy. As Martine bonds with Tendai, caring for injured animals in the sanctuary, she becomes intrigued by the legend of a rare white giraffe in Sabobona, foretelling a child's role as an animal healer. Despite Gwen's aloofness, Martine grows attached to the preserve's wildlife, particularly keeping an eye out for the mythical giraffe. While Martine prefers sanctuary duties, Gwen insists on her attending Caracal School. Struggling to fit in, Martine is courted by the Five Star Gang, but witnessing their unkindness to a classmate makes her question their friendship. One stormy night, Martine encounters the white giraffe, Jemmy, saving her from a cobra. Establishing a unique bond, Martine explores the preserve secretly, facing the disapproval of Alex Dupreeze, the new game warden. Martine's healing gift manifests during a school field trip, drawing unwanted attention. Alex warns her about Jemmy, heightening her concerns. Teaching Jemmy to respond to a dog whistle, Martine discovers a hidden part of the preserve with ancient drawings revealing her destiny. Embracing her role, Martine vows to protect the secret valley, but is unsure how to safeguard Jemmy. Upon learning about Jemmy's danger, Martine confronts Gwen, who discloses her Sabobona birth and a neglected warning from Grace. Seeking Grace's guidance, Martine uncovers a plot against Jemmy, prompting a daring rescue mission. With Ben's assistance, Martine locates Jemmy on a ship, heals him, and escapes, evading Alex and rescuing the tranquilized animals. Jemmy kicks Alex as they flee to safety, and Martine bids farewell as he returns to Sabobona. Grace commends Martine's use of her gift, predicting more adventures to come. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.